So apparently, you're not supposed to open this until the 25th of December. Now, to my records, it's the 18th of December today, but this is Secret Santa. Apparently, you're supposed to open them straight away, so I'm not sure who put it in a bag saying not until the 25th of December, but it's it's a nice, it's a very nice bag, to be fair, so, you know. But, hey, so Secret Santa is this thing that if you don't know, basically, it happens at work a lot, where you all get someone, so you all put your names in the hat, and you have a spend limit of, like, £10 or £15, or whatever, whatever amount that everyone agrees to. You have a date you have to bring the presents in by, and you have no idea who you've got, although people generally end up telling everyone. I think I know like who half the people ended up having at my place, but then you're supposed to open the presents when you get them. And I said, no, I don't want to do that. It's not tradition. You know, you open them on Christmas Day. But then I realised I've probably upset a few people by saying that. So I thought, hey, I'll make a video specifically for Secret Santa presents. I have four. I'm really lucky this year. I mean, this is actually my first Secret Santa as well. So I wasn't entirely sure on how it all works until everyone told me and, and basically moaned at me for not opening them there. But, you know, four presents, let's see what we have. So, some present here, and hey, you're gonna get my true reaction. Whoever gave me this, if you see this video, you're gonna see my true reaction to what, to what this is. So, um, let's um, begin. See, this, I've, yeah, I mean, I don't, I think, to my opinion, Secret Santa's always supposed to be a bit of a joke sort of present. You're never supposed to get anyone over anything like, too serious. Like, obviously you put a bit of thought into it. You don't just go, hey, they're a, they're a man, let me go and get them some perfume or something. I mean, they're not gonna want that. Um, but, you know, I just, I don't know. Oh, okay. Okay. Nice. 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 Yeah, love it. I actually have always, genuinely have always wanted an emoji thing. I've just never bothered because I felt really embarrassed to go and buy one. But hey, I mean, this is just, I, I this could just be, you know, this is just amazing. I mean, <laughs> I think, I think I know who got me this or... I'm not sure, although I know I use this emoji a ton in like WhatsApp and stuff, so it probably has something to do with that. This is like my favorite emoji in the world right now. Has been for a long time to be honest. I'm really lame. It's like the most used emoji and yet it's my favorite, but hey, I'm ju I just, I just cry with laughter at everything because everything is just a joke these days. I mean, <laughs> this is just, this is amazing. So uh, thank you, whoever that was. I'm sure I'll find out at some point, but thank you. That's very cool. I don't know how to get into it. Oh. Ah, if they were trying to like trick me into not being able to get into it, you failed because there was a little bit that was open. It is what I thought it was. Yes, yes, yes. So you guys are all just like, what's it? What is it? What is it? What is it? I'm not, not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Here we go. Oh, I love matchmakers. I absolutely love matchmakers. I am even more sure now who I've got. I'm pretty confident i know who it was so thank you but i love matchmakers so much any of them honeycomb orange mint all of them are so good and this one mm, i'm gonna enjoy these tonight really am gonna enjoy those tonight so i've got like i said I've got, I, I got four things i'm quite lucky so if you call this four things i mean this is sellotape together but it's two separate things so if i'm clever i can make this two somehow i don't know how um so, da -da -da -da. this is not the traditional way of opening the present I nearly broke my finger, I think. Um, okay, well, you know, a broken bone is not much when you, you're getting presents. So um, here we go. I have no idea what this is. I know who it's from, because they told me. <laughs> you know, they told me, just pretend you like it, even if you don't, or something like that. Coaster games, okay, what is this? Uh, well, I presume it's it's games on a coaster, Jade, and I don't really know why I asked myself that, but it's suitable for 14 plus, so that's good. One or more players. Does that mean I can play on my own because I'm quite lonely? Um, that's going to come in handy, though, because I get really bored a lot, so there's 30 coaster games in here. I, I'm going to be occupied now for at least 10 minutes, I would say, if not 12. Thank you, though. That's very cool. Lots of little games which I enjoy playing. So, well, I hope I will enjoy playing. I like games and I get bored easy. So, it's per it literally is just perfect for me. And, don't fall off my bed. And this feels like a book, although I'm not sure. But, hey, let's open it and see what's inside. Da -da -da -da. I always feel bad when I rip wrapping paper because everyone's like, put, you know, you put effort into wrapping something and then there's just someone comes along and tears it apart. But, you know, um, laugh on the loo. Okay. Thank you. That's actually quite cool because all I do is I go sit on the toilet, like you do. I do my business and then I go. But this, this means I can sit there 
for 20 minutes at a time reading a book. And apparently someone called me illiterate once. This is gonna prove that... I like the way this is gonna prove and I open it on a blank page, yeah. Great one, Jaden. Let's read something. Here we go. Okay. Are you ready? Four. Laugh on the loo. I mean, we're not on the loo. I could go and move to the toilet, but I think that might be a bit weird. So, a father is helping his son with his maths homework. If I gave you two cats and another two cats and another two, how many would you have? That's what the father said. Son says seven. Father, no. Listen carefully. If I gave you two cats, another two cats and another two cats, how many would you have? Son again says seven. He's like, Father, let me put it to you differently. If I gave you two apples, another two apples, and another two apples, how many would you have? And the son says six. Father says, good. Now if I gave you two cats, another two cats, and another two, how many would you have? And the son says, seven. And <laughs> the frustrated father at this point is saying, where the heck do you get seven from? The frustrated son, because I've already got a cat. Two hours later. One son answers, we found £10 and decided that whoever tells the biggest lie gets to keep it. You should be ashamed of yourselves, said the mother. When I was your age, I didn't even know what a lie was. The boys look at each other and then reluctantly hand the £10 to their mother. Nice. Yeah. To be, I swear, like all parents say, oh, I never lie. I never tell a lie. And all parents lie. That's just everyone's lied in their life. It's like a thing you do. Everyone, even if it's just one single lie, everyone's lied. But this is awesome. This is awesome, this is awesome, and this is awesome. So thank you to my Secret Santa people. If you do watch this video, thank you. If you don't, then um, I think I know who you are anyway. I know one of them because they told me. And uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. So next week, I'm going to be opening all my main Christmas presents from everything else that wasn't Secret Santa. So if you're not interested in Christmas presents at all, not seeing me open them at all, don't watch next week's video, basically. But if you are, tune in next week at 6pm, Christmas Day. And uh, yeah, I've got a couple over there. And uh, hopefully it'll be as interesting, if not more interesting, than this one. And I'm just going to go and cry. Cry with laughter everywhere. Because emojis. But uh, I do hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new around here. Comment down below. Let me know if you've enjoyed these Christmas videos so far. If you haven't, then I do apologise. They'll be ending quite soon. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time.